Hello. This is a potato called Charlotte. Growing in a shopping bag in a 10 inch water bucket. This is something I've done successfully now over a number of years. Uh, it enables you to lift the plant out, take potatoes off, pop the plant back in the bucket uh, with no soil disturbance, no root disturbance. Uh, and it gives you a chance uh, to let the smaller potatoes go on, grow on. You never actually harvest your potatoes too soon. There is a video on YouTube that I posted some time ago. Grow potatoes in shopping bags start to finish. Um, you may want to watch that. Uh, you possibly won't want to watch it after you see this because I fully expect this soil ball to fall apart because this pot is soaking wet and it's soaking wet because it's been raining for days and days and days. And I don't know if you can tell this, but there is some wind burn on these leaves. It's been very windy as well. Um, so these potatoes have really gone through a, a tough time. So I'm not expecting too much in here and I'm certainly not expecting to be able to put it back into this bucket. But anyway, we won't know we lift it out. So let's lift it out and see what we've got. Hold on, Molly. I've got Molly with me. She knows it's potato time. You're there. I don't know if you saw that. It's just, it's just fell apart. Uh, we've even got water in the bucket. Look, it's fell apart. So we're not going to do what we originally intended doing, and that's uh, revealing a soil ball and taking some potatoes. We're just going to take the lot now whatever we've got. There you go. Can you see Molly sneaking in? She likes small potatoes. We've got, in fact, we actually call them Molly's. If there are any Molly's, we give her them. Um, right. Let's see what we've got here. Well, we've certainly got some potatoes, but that. Now that was a really wet bucket, and this is another issue you get when you've got inconsistent watering, whether you've got too much watering or not enough watering, um, or a step change in the watering regime, uh, going from dry to wet or wet to dry, potato split, perfectly good to eat, uh, not, as, not so good to look at, but yeah, they're okay. Right, let's see what else we've got here. Just pop these in the bucket for the time being. Some of those potatoes have been up near the surface, look, they've actually got a green back on them. Okay, dude, if you cut it off, uh, but would it be worthwhile for a small potato to cut that green off and try and eat it? Well, that's disappointing. That's disappointing, but given the weather we've been experiencing, I think it's what we expected. Okay, we'll give these guys a wash, uh, we'll do a weigh-in, and then we'll give Molly a couple of the smaller ones. Back in two ticks. 
potatoes have been washed. There they are. I'm going to pop the scales on here, we're going to do a weighing. Okay, malt, here we go. That's a molly. That's a molly. That's not. Same size but a tinge of green. Perfect white potato there. That's definitely a molly. What have we got? About a pound and a quarter. Let's give molly a try, shall we? Stroll on. Are you waiting there patiently, Molly? Are you waiting for yours? Which one was it? Oh, it wasn't that one, was it? Is that one? There you go, sweetheart. She obviously doesn't want you watching her eating. <laughs> did you enjoy that? <laughs> did you enjoy that? Yeah, you did. And you would have another if I would give you it, but we need to be careful, don't we? We don't want to. Uh, Spoil it. Summer hasn't really got started here in the UK just yet. Uh, we're at the back end of spring. Um, we've got all this soil. We've got empty buckets. And we've got all summer ahead of us. What are we going to do with this? Can you remember the advice I gave you early in the year when we were sowing early potatoes? I say you should sow some celery and sow some leeks, celery seeds and leek seeds, and that when we got to this point in the year, we're going to double our return. We're going to plant leeks and or celery in these buckets to grow on through summer and into autumn. Two crops, one lot of soil, one bucket, same growing year. Hey, it can be done. I've done it lots of times. And I'm hopefully going to do it again this year. Uh, and hopefully the weather will pick up. Right, now then. Because this soil's been used once, I want to reinvigorate it. And because I'm growing some leeks in there, and the only fertiliser that I could get that seems specific to that type of vegetable is this onion fertiliser. So we're going to mix some in, then we're going to fill that bucket, and then we're going to plant some leeks in it. Hey, let's not hang about, this is homegrown veg, come on. If you're lifting early potatoes, and you followed my advice, you'll be planting some leeks shortly. If you're not doing that, you'll be saying, where am I going to put all this soil? Where's it all going? Well, I know where mine's going. It's going back in that bucket. And there's some leaks going in it. And how many leaks are going in it? I've no idea. I haven't got my mind up. Now I think what I'll do is, because I've got quite a few leeks in pots now, I've got those Cumbrians and Betty Blacks growing on, and they look as though they're making a big fine leek. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be stuck for a few leeks this year. 
Um, so I'm not really bothered how well these do. I might even just overcrowd them. I'd say that uh, I've actually grown 10 leeks in a bucket before and had a good result. Um, we might try and uh, repeat that. Okay, just a divot, I'm just going to divot some walls and drop them in. These are the leeks. I've just lifted those out of the base bed, I just had them grown in one corner. And we're just going to tease them apart like this. Now it looks a bit savage, but I've got to tell you, leeks are very resilient. A bit of root disturbance doesn't bother leeks. We'll go with the biggest, shall we? And the smallest, and go back in the raised bed and get bigger, and be ready for the next pot. Be ready for the next bucket that becomes available. Okay, I don't know how many there is there. I'll do a quick count for you. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was, oh, that was a fluke. That was a fluke. There's another one there, eleven. Uh, we'll see what ten looks like, shall we? Right, one in the middle for starters. Now I don't plant these leeks, leeks so deep um, because I want all of the soil in this pot for the roots of the leek. If I was to plant this leek, say three or four inches down, which is fairly standard for leeks, um, they wouldn't have access to the soil above the root ball. Roots go down, they don't come up, and so they'd miss um, a lot of this soil, and I've got to tell you now, um, I've emptied these pots before that I've had lots of leaks in, and you've nearly got to jackhammer them out, there's that many roots in there. They really do put a lot of roots down. That little guy out. This won't take me long. I hope you're doing this, mind. I did warn you early in the year. I'll be doing this later with some more leeks. And I also have some celery I think I'll probably pot up as well. Now what I will do is I'll put some wind protection around these. Um, because, although it's quite mild today, um, we have had some serious winds and it would just blow these guys over uh, because they have no established root system in this bucket at the moment um, but they will have in a week or two they definitely will okay two crops one pot same growing year is that um, is that crop rotation the two different crops is that crop rotation can I count it as I'm counting that as crop rotation. Must be. Potatoes followed by leeks. It's got to be crop rotation, right? How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to squeeze this little guy in. Uh, we'll show him in there. No, yeah, we'll show him in there. Right in front of the camera. He'll go in there, son. Get them leeks, get them roots tucked in. Okay. And all we need to do now is give these a little squirt, not a lot, because this, um, this soil is quite wet. And then off camera I'll put some protection around this bucket so I'll stand it out and uh, we'll have a look at these guys later on in the year. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, 
This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.